Next uh, failure generally in a metal is fatigue. Fatigue means it is a repeated application of fatigue generally occurs because of the repeated application of small and varying loads. Namaluru Namada motorcycle at Kuanangle, Namala engine, Namada motorcycle and engine Odikimbo. Now, at your age, maybe 18, 19, you are very crazy to operate a motorcycle on road. We have pattern the speed of the speed of the speed of speed of the piston, connecting road, crankshaft, and the load. The force acting on to that is comparatively higher because more amount of fuel burns. Then, we have to break it. Fuel is not going So, the force, the entire force, net force acting on the components reduces. We have to pattern the speed of the speed of the speed of the component in the Mogul. Changes. Ah, changes you have to compare fatigue to fatigue. We have to compare it. So, repeated application of small and varying loads generally promotes fatigue. This is a slip process. If, if you actually see fatigue is a uh, resultant of accumulation process involving slip. Slip is when we are in the floor and we are in the floor. It's the same thing. The two metal layers are layered. The bond is loose. The strength is loose. It's a slide and slip. It's a fatigue. Fatigue is a accumulation, resultant accumulation process involving slip. This mainly is the structure subjected to dynamic and fluctuating stresses. Either dynamic and fluctuating stresses or the components mainly is the I know example on the uh, IC engines and the connecting road. Con road is a, a good example for this because it is subjected to fluctuating and dynamic loads most of the time based on the acceleration and decelerations. Then repeated loads, as we said, fatigue is a repeated application of small loads. When you apply this repeated load onto a particular component, that component uh, at a particular area, there is a very possibility that a micro crack occurs onto that particular material. Suppose you take uh, this particular uh, uh, shaft, crankshaft, and onto the crankshaft. Now imagine that this is a four cylinder engine, and in that four cylinder, one, two, three, four, four cylinder engine. Imagine one of the cylinder fuel injector, which is compression ignition CI engine, one of the cylinder uh, fuel injector is blocked. So, amount of fuel injected into this particular number 3 cylinder will be comparatively lesser than 1, 2 and 4. Therefore, the power generated inside this particular cylinder will also be less. And from this cylinder only you know that it is transmitted to your crankshaft. Now, the load acting from number 1 cylinder onto the crankshaft and from the number one, number 3 cylinder to the crankshaft is varied. Therefore, there is a very possibility that a couple occurs onto that uh, crankshaft. In this case, a prolonged diet of this crankshaft in throughout the dimension, this load is different from this load, this load is different. Different is different, this is different, this is different. This is different, this is different, this is different. This is different, this is different, this is different. This is different, deviations so, repeated loads caused micro cracks this is the form of the this is micro crack form this is the micro crack form it is still not dangerous until unless it does not prolong this micro crack we continue the process n number of micro cracks will slowly form up this is micro cracks form this micro cracks last unite unite cheyum endu form aavum crack form aavum ee crack 45 degree le propagate cheyidu idu rendu piece aipo so in, in in engineering if you actually see approximately 90 percentage of the engineering material fails out of fatigue it's not because of any other pro process mainly 90 percentage of the engineering components fails because of the fatigue you have example of components rotating shafts have you know, there is more, more prone, prone to fail out of fatigue than connecting road then aircraft which aircraft wings the resistance offered when the aircraft is moving is not constant 
അപ്പോൾ ഈ വിങ്സ് ചിലപ്പോൾ റെസിസ്റ്റൻസ് കൂടുതലായിരിക്കും ചിലപ്പോൾ കുറവായിരിക്കും കാർമേഹങ്ങൾ കൂടുതലുണ്ടാവും അല്ലെങ്കിൽ എയർ റെസിസ്റ്റൻസ് കുറവുള്ള ഏരിയയിലൂടെ പാസ് ചെയ്യാം കൂടുതലുള്ള ഏരിയയിൽ പാസ് ചെയ്യാം സോ ദീസ് എയർക്രാഫ്റ്റ് വിങ്സ് ആർ പ്രോൺ ടു ഹാവ് ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് സൈക്ലിക് ലോഡിങ് ദീസ് സൈക്ലിക് ലോഡിങ് ഓൺ ടു ദി ഇമ്പാക്ട് ആക്സ് ഓൺ ദി എയർക്രാഫ്റ്റ് വിങ് വിൽ സബ്സിക്വൻലി പ്രൊമോട്ട് ദി fatigue of that material so fatigue is a major concern it's a major factor which leads to failure because 90% of the rotating components and the engineering materials fails out of fatigue